Today at Chad State with Tyler Butner and Tyler Brown and your local weather forecast from Moon McCroskey. Hello, I am Tyler. And I'm also Tyler. What's your week look, weekend looking like? My weekend plans look great. I think I'm going to go back to my high school and watch them play their rivals. I think I'm going to sit on the couch and watch some Saturday football with UTC and UTK. I hope it's going to be a great game. Same. A part-time job fair took place today in the Omni main hallway. This event was planned by Career Services to help students find jobs as they complete their degrees. For further assistance with finding work, students can also sign up for JobLink, a great resource for connecting students with jobs in their chosen career fields. All current students already have accounts, so check it out from the career services page by logging in with your current Tiger Web ID. For even more help in your search for jobs, visit Career Services office upstairs in the Student Center room 216. So Tyler, how's your job search looking like? It's going well. Uh, I found a job at UTC that I really like for a replay operator and I hope I get the job. Well, I, I hope you get it too. Same. Moon, what's the weather looking like today? We've had some really hot and steamy weather this week with near record high temps. We'll see this extreme heat hanging around the south with temperatures in the 90s for the next week or more. A few thunderstorms popping up in the afternoon, but no rain to cool things off anywhere near us. No heavy precipitation occurring in our area until next week, so at least you don't have to mow the lawn as often. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast. High today of 90 degrees and sunny, more sun on Friday and Saturday with temps in the low 90s. Heating back up on Sunday, which will continue in the mid 90s next week and no rain expected to cool things off at all. Back to you. The Phoenix is a Chattanooga State literary journal for students to show off their hard work they put into their prospective crafts. Kyle Orr has the story. Chat State's literary journal, The Phoenix, just as its namesake would suggest, has died and risen from the ashes throughout the years since its founding in 1982. Founded by students for students, The Phoenix is an opportunity for young writers and photographers to test their merits and get published. I thought it would be cool to see my work, my name, paper, and a book of creative writing. Ariana Keller is a freshman and a new member of the Creative Writing Club looking to submit for next year's issue. Though submitting to the Phoenix once felt like a lofty goal. I didn't think I had it in me to be a writer. She credits the Creative Writing Club for giving her confidence to submit some of her work. Joining the Creative Writing Club, um, I wanted to submit something, I just didn't know what. I sat down with Professor Buck Weiss, advisor to the Creative Writing Club and the Phoenix, to get his take on how submitting helps students who are aspiring writers. They're wonderful writers, and they really just need the confidence. You know, they just really need that push to be able to say, look, I've been published. Writers like Ariana hope to achieve something more than just being published. I want to inspire others. I think that's the way a lot of authors are. It's that sentiment that ignites the readers, including the advisors as well. We just get so excited about everybody else's work, and we send each other work, and, and it's been really kind of feeding us as well. Through the years, the Phoenix has had times of hibernation, though it always returns to Chat State, because the idea of the Phoenix sits at the heart of Chat State. The idea of the Phoenix fits into Chat State as well, right? This is a place where people can come and rise from the ashes, right? Can, can move on to something better. Reporting for Today at Chat State, I'm Kyle Orr. Well, I guess I need to send some of my poetry in. Me too. Well, that's it for today, Chat State. Be sure to watch us online in the amphitheater. Have a great day. Scene one, amphitheater. Scene one, amphitheater.